coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, L.A. BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three. I'm on ten again. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Elo Speaks back again with another video. So this is a discussion video that I wanted to make right quick regarding LeBron James and his uh, career that's going on so far. So. As we know, the, the Los Angeles Lakers are trash, garbage juice right now. And their whole season has been a disaster. And right now, the media kind of doesn't want to talk about it. Because a lot of the fanboys in the media, especially LeBron James fanboys, they were making big pronostications saying that if anybody, you know, with the acquisition of Russell Westbrook, people, some people with a basketball IQ knew that this was going to be a disaster and this wasn't going to work. Especially with Russell Westbrook, but certain people thought if anybody could fix Russ and optimize him to the best of his abilities, then LeBron James could do it, which was you know possible because LeBron James has optimized other players too, but he never optimized players as such as uh, Russell Westbrook. So I wanted to talk about this because what the media doesn't want to talk about is. Even LeBron James' stat line and what the games that he's played so far, he's been dropping great numbers. Um, I want to go over his points right quick. So currently right now, he's averaging 29, 7, and 6, which is good. And that's what that's all the media want to talk about. And I have no problem with that. But you need to talk about the losses that come with that. And my issue with the media is they like to pick and choose on how they want to cover LeBron James and show their media biasness and I'm not going to stand for that. Once I see some BS, I'm going to call it out, especially from the media, for fanboys such as Nick Wright, Colin Cowherd, Shannon Sharp, etc. Now, my issue with that is because they they want to harp on LeBron James is averaging over 30 points and he's been playing great. I don't want to take nothing away from LeBron James. He's been playing phenomenal. But the team is losing and his numbers are hollow and meaningless because of that. That's why I wanted to title this video, um, LeBron James Stats Numbers Are BS Media Narratives. Now, I would say like a month or two ago that when it came to that situation, even though the, even though the team was losing, they still wanted to try to insert LeBron James into the MVP conversation. And that kind of pissed me off because no, ain't no way LeBron James in the MVP conversation. Yes, his numbers are good, and he's dropping numbers a great statistical stat line throughout every game. But they're losing because of it. And on top of that, he's goosing some of his stats. Now let me explain. Every time they're losing or getting blown out by twenty, LeBron James will still be in the game, just goosing his stats. So by by the time at the end of the game. He'll have 30 points, he'll have 10 assists, 10 rebounds, etc. And then the media fanboys like Shannon Sharp could go on undisputed or any other show and say LeBron James did his part. LeBron James dropped 30, 30 points, he dropped 8 rebounds, 10 assists. What you want more if you want for to do? The team's old, the Russell Westbrook's turnover machine, the AD's hurt. That's the narrative that they're going to throw out there in terms of how they're going to cover LeBron James so he doesn't get blamed. And to be honest, Russell Westbrook is the perfect scapegoat for that team because of his poor play for the past season. So I just want to get ahead of this. Nick Wright is being false. LeBron James numbers are BS. They're stat narratives. He's dropping his points because he's trying to win scoring title and on top of that he's trying to goose his numbers so when, when the stat line shows up on the sheet people could say all oh, LeBron James did this this that but what at the end of it that they don't tell you is is a loss currently right now there are under there are a couple of games under 500 in a ninth seed but they, they're going to continue talking about LeBron James stats because they, they don't want you, they want you to ignore that part. They want you to not talk about that. And to be honest, that's BS. F that. Because if the team was winning and LeBron James was dropping those numbers, I have no problem of inserting him into the MVP race. No problem. 
But the fact that their team are losing and this quote unquote goat of everyone is dropping these numbers and they're still losing, losing, that's a problem. And that needs to be looked at because LeBron James orchestrated this team. I don't care what he says or what the owners, the fans says, LeBron James orchestrated this roster because that's what he does. LeBron James is a loud, silent speaker when it comes to NBA teams, and it goes all the way back to his second year in Cleveland when he came back to win that championship. Every roster move goes through him. So he the one who green the decision to get Russ. He's the one who green the decision to get AD. And he's the one who green the decision to get Colorado Anthony and all these other pieces. I don't want to hear nothing about he's, the roster's old. They're not, they're injury prone. They're not, the chemistry not there. I don't care about none of that. LeBron James orchestrated this roster. He has to make it go. I don't care about his numbers that he's dropping. If those numbers not equating to wins, it don't matter at all. They're hollow. They're empty. He's he's just static. He's just stat padding at this point. And I understand he's close to catching Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He might do it possibly in the next uh, season, depending on how long he plays this season. We're halfway into the season, and the Lakers are ninth in the seed. And it look like it look like he's just don't care. He's just trying to goose up his stats and try to break as much records as he can before his body breaks down and gets old. But I'm not giving that excuse. If he misses the playoffs, there's a ding on his legacy. If he gets knocked out in the first round of the playoffs, there's a ding on his legacy. People want to prop him up as the greatest basketball player of all time. I'm going to hold him to that. And I'm going to measure him up to Jordan. That, I'm going to always do that. And when he doesn't measure up to Jordan, he's going to fall because of it. People has him number one as the greatest basketball player of all time. Some people has him as far as number two. Me personally, he's not even in my top five. He's around six or ten. But I'm going to wait till his career finishes for me to accurately put him at the right place. But he's for sure not number one better than Jordan at all. I've never seen Jordan put his team in this, partic in this particular situation where they're a below 500 team and are struggling right now. Never seen it. But you have media fanboys that continually want to make excuses, want to divert attention from the team losing and just talk about LeBron James' statistical output and that's BS and I don't care about it. If he's not winning games with that statistical stat line, averaging 29, 7 or 6, I don't care. I don't want to hear it because it's BS. There's no meaning behind it. It's basically hollow stats. Same thing like Russell Westbrook's triple-double. The first year where he did it, it was an awesome feat. The second year, it was damn okay he averaged a triple double back to back but then when he did the third year fourth year i didn't care anymore because he wasn't winning that's all that matters it's the only thing that matters is are you winning lebron james legacy at this point is defined by championships while he's breaking those records along the way is great but he needs to be winning championships if he ever wants to be mentioned side by side with jordan right now the whole LeBron James versus Jordan narrative is all about a narrative. That's it. But if he wins a fifth championship, maybe a sixth ties Jordan, the discussion could be open about him being as good or better than Michael Jordan. But until then, it's just a media narratives to drive views, get clicks, get ratings, etc. But in terms of the whole media narrative, about um, the numbers that he's dropping right now is all cap, it's all BS. Yes, his stat line is great. And he's averaging good all star numbers. I get that. But the team is not winning despite of that. And that's all I got to say on, on the matter. Because I just feel like the media is really on some BS right now as, re as regards to covering LeBron James. And I understand LeBron James has paid media ages, but still. Like, have some damn integrity for, for peace sake. Like, come on. But those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. 
Let me know yours down in the comments section down below. Do you agree with my take on LeBron J. Stella being BS? Do you disagree? Let me know. Uh, follow me on all my socials down below. The, down below. This is Elo Speaks Out. Coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again.